Fitness Circuit takes circuit training and turns it into a game with a variety of cardio-based aerobic exercise options available to sink into. I have been having a blast with this game, and I love the fact that it's got a custom circuit mode that rivals Ring Fit Adventure's custom mode, so I've decided to do what I do best and make some PT playlists. Now these are focusing on cardio, as I implied at the start of the video, and I focused on two different types of training with these playlists. Before we jump in, make sure you get your water and towel ready, and I do want to say that I don't think there are any exercises here locked behind anything, but if there are, I made these playlists at level 10 in the game, so it's not too difficult to unlock them. Also, so please make sure that you adjust the sets to what you can do. You'll notice that I've got these set at three each. You can set it between one and five rounds. So make sure that you've got the right amount of sets for you and then you're golden. All right, now let's get into it. The first playlist is one that I'll call Runner's Cardio and the aim is to get constant movement focusing on the legs as the primary movers. Even though these are moves that detect with your arms, the main focus here is your legs. Start with a march, making sure you're keeping in time and moving your legs with the beat. This is a decent little warm up before the butt kick, which is a slightly more dynamic movement with more flexion at the knee. Follow this up with leg curl, which extends the hips further. Oftentimes you'll find leg exercises tend to focus on hip flexion, so making sure that you're doing extension is important. Follow this up with the lunge up with its constant steady sways. Now we get to use different planes of motion because we're doing knee to elbow in the sagittal plane with knee to elbow side following in the frontal plane. Be mindful of getting a good range of motion with that leg. Get that higher rather than bringing your elbow down lower, if that makes sense. Toe touch kick and front kick make for dynamic hip flexion based duos. Before you finish with step touch, a great constant rhythmic cardio movement and knee to elbow cross, which gets a lot of abdominal crunching in. Great work. The second playlist of this video is a more explosive cardio serving, and we're going to call it Danger Danger High Impact because it's using the full body with explosive movements in places, and that's really a good thing. Heel tap and step touch make for great warm up moves before you do a little punching with the step jab. Make sure you're stepping in time with your punches. A knee to elbow cross is next, which can be tougher, but the crossing of the body makes this good for your hips, your abs, your quads, and your arms. We have a duo of arm moves, and they are strength, but they have aerobic adaptations to make them more effective here. Arm curl has you moving side to side and curling your arms fast. Make sure you keep your arm movement limited to your forearms where possible. Next is upright row which is quick and has you come up onto your heels which is decent for your calf training. We finish with the same four moves from the previous playlist. Toe touch kick and front kick are more explosive and feel better once you've warmed up more. Step touch is a dynamic cardio option and knee to elbow cross is great in general. Well done. So those are two early game custom cardio circuits that you can do within a week of playing fitness circuit. Cardio is where this game excels, and most of the exercises can be performed from the comfort of a chair if you're unable to move your legs well. Just focus on the movement detection with your arms. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know how you go in the comments. Make sure you hit subscribe, and I want to say thanks again to Spike Chunsoft for sending me the review copy of this game. Thanks to my patrons like Rain and Sick Hippie for the amazing support through Patreon. I'm Master Trainer Peter, and I'll see you for the next workout.